Chapter 1. The Battle of the Syphozoa The blaring alarms and flashing red lights filled the bridge of the starship Artemis as Captain Zara Zander gripped the armrests of her command chair. The ship shuddered violently under the relentless assault of the Syphozoa, an alien race hellbent on destroying any vessel that dared to cross into their territory. Shields down to 20%, Captain shouted the tactical officer, her voice straining over the cacophony of battle. We can't take much more of this. Zara clenched her jaw, her eyes darting across the viewscreen that displayed the chaos unfolding before them. The Syphozoa ships, with their sleek, tentacle-like designs, swarmed around the Artemis, unleashing a barrage of energy blasts that tore through the ship's defenses like paper. Divert all power to the forward shields and prepare to fire the main cannon, Zara commanded, her voice steady despite the dire situation. The crew worked frantically at their stations, their fingers dancing across the glowing control panels as they struggled to keep the ship together. Zara watched as the main cannon charged, a brilliant blue glow emanating from the weapon's barrel. Captain, the main cannon is ready to fire, but we only have enough power for one shot the weapons officer reported, his brow glistening with sweat. Zara took a deep breath, knowing that the fate of her crew rested on her next decision. She studied the formation of the Syphozoa ships, searching for a weakness in their attack pattern. Aim for the lead ship, she ordered, her voice unwavering. Fire on my command. The bridge fell silent as the crew held their breath, waiting for the captain's signal. Zara's heart pounded in her chest, as she watched the Syphozoa ships close in, their energy blasts growing more intense with each passing second. Fire! Zara shouted, her voice cutting through the tension like a knife. The Artemis shuddered as the main cannon unleashed its devastating payload, a brilliant beam of energy that streaked across the void of space. The lead Syphozoa ship exploded in a blinding flash of light, sending debris cascading in all directions. For a moment, the Syphozoa fleet fell into disarray, their formation broken by the sudden destruction of their leader. Zara seized the opportunity, knowing that it might be their only chance to escape. Helmsman, plot a course out of here, maximum speed, she barked, her eyes fixed on the viewscreen. As the Artemis surged forward, the ship's engines straining under the immense power output, the Syphozoa ships regrouped and gave chase. Energy blasts rocked the ship, alarms blaring as the damage reports flooded in. Captain, we've lost the main engines, the helmsman cried out, panic creeping into his voice. We're dead in the water. Zara's mind raced as she considered their options, each one more desperate than the last. With the Artemis crippled and the Syphozoa closing in, she knew that there was only one way to ensure the survival of her crew. Prepare the escape pods, she ordered her voice heavy with resignation. We're abandoning ship. The crew looked at her in disbelief, their faces etched with a mix of fear and sadness. They had fought bravely, but the battle had taken its toll, and the Artemis was no longer a safe haven. As the crew hurried to the escape pods, Zara made her way to the bridge's escape hatch, her heart heavy with the weight of her decision. She had sworn to protect her crew, and now she was forced to leave them behind. With a final glance at the bridge, Zara sealed the hatch and climbed into her escape pod. As the pod jettisoned from the dying Artemis, she watched through the small viewport as the Syphozoa ships descended upon her once proud vessel, tearing it apart with ruthless efficiency. Strapped into her seat, Zara closed her eyes as the escape pod hurtled through space, its destination unknown. The battle may have been lost, but she knew that her journey was far from over. With a heavy heart and a determination to survive, Captain Zara Zander braced herself for the challenges that lay ahead, unaware of the incredible adventure that awaited her on an uncharted world. Chapter 2 A Stranger in a Strange Land The escape pod shuddered violently as it plummeted through the atmosphere of the unknown planet its heat shields glowing a bright orange as they fought against the intense friction. Inside the cramped confines of the pod, Captain Zara Zander gripped the harness that held her in place,
her heart pounding in her chest as the ground rushed up to meet her. But with a deafening crash, the escape pod slammed into the surface of the planet, kicking up a cloud of dust and debris as it skidded to a halt. <laughs> For a moment, Zara sat motionless, her ears ringing and her vision blurred from the impact. <laughs> Slowly, she reached up and unfastened her harness, wincing as she felt the bruises that were already forming on her body. <laughs> as the dust settled around the pod, Zara peered out through the cracked viewport her eyes widening as she took in the alien landscape that stretched out before her. Vast, crystal-clear oceans dominated the horizon, their waters shimmering beneath the light of a distant sun. Strange, coral-like structures rose up from the depths, their colors ranging from vibrant pinks and purples to deep, rich blues. With a hiss of escaping air, Zara pushed open the escape pod's hatch and stepped out onto the sandy shore her boots sinking into the soft terrain. She reached back into the pod and retrieved her emergency survival kit, slinging the pack over her shoulder as she surveyed her surroundings. Where am I? She muttered to herself, her voice sounding small and insignificant against the backdrop of the alien world. As Zara set off along the shoreline, she couldn't shake the feeling that she was being watched. The hair on the back of her neck stood on end and she found herself constantly glancing over her shoulder, searching for any sign of movement in the strange, alien landscape. Hours passed as Zara trekked across the sandy terrain, the sun beating down on her from above. Her throat was parched, and her legs ached from the constant exertion, but she pushed onwards, driven by the need to find shelter and a source of fresh water. As the sun began to dip towards the horizon, Zara spotted a small cave set into the base of a nearby cliff. Exhausted and desperate for rest, she made her way towards the cave, hoping to find a safe place to spend the night. But as she approached the entrance to the cave, Zara froze in her tracks. There, floating in the shallows just beyond the mouth of the cave, was a creature unlike anything she had ever seen before. It was a jellyfish like being, with a translucent, pulsating body and long, delicate tendrils that swayed gently in the current. Zara's hand instinctively reached for the blaster at her hip, but she hesitated, remembering the lessons she had learned during her years of space exploration. First contact with an alien species was always a delicate affair, and she knew that any aggressive action on her part could jeopardize any chance of peaceful communication. Slowly, cautiously, Zara approached the edge of the water, her eyes locked on the jellyfish creature. As she drew closer, she noticed that the creature's tendrils were glowing softly, pulsing with a gentle, hypnotic rhythm. Suddenly, a voice echoed in Zara's mind, startling her with its clarity and intensity. Welcome, stranger from the stars, the voice said, its tone gentle and inviting. We have been waiting for you. <laughs> Zara's eyes widened in disbelief as she realized that the jellyfish creature was communicating with her telepathically. She had encountered telepathic species before, but never one quite like this. Who are you? Zara asked, her voice trembling slightly as she spoke. And what do you want with me? The jellyfish creature pulsed with a soft, calming light as it replied, We are the Medusi, the guardians of this world, and we need your help, Captain Zara Zander. Our kingdom is in grave danger, threatened by a force that seeks to destroy everything we hold dear. Will you aid us in our time of need? Zara hesitated, her mind reeling from the sudden revelation. She had crash-landed on an alien planet, lost and alone, and now she was being asked to help a species she had only just encountered. But as she looked into the shimmering, luminescent depths of the Medusa's body, she saw a flicker of desperation, a silent plea for assistance. With a deep breath, Zara made her decision. I will help you, she said, her voice growing stronger with each word. Tell me what I need to do. As the Medusa began to explain the nature of the threat facing its kingdom, Zara felt a sense of purpose rising within her. She may have been a stranger in a strange land, but she was still a captain, a leader, and a defender of the innocent.
and she would do whatever it took to protect this alien world and its inhabitants from the dangers that lurked in the depths of the ocean. Chapter 3 The Undersea Menace As the Medusa led Zara deeper into the underwater kingdom, the captain marveled at the breathtaking beauty that surrounded her. Bioluminescent creatures illuminated the depths, casting an ethereal glow on the coral-like structures that towered above them. Schools of alien fish darted through the water, their scales shimmering in the soft light. Our kingdom has thrived for eons, the Medusa explained, its telepathic voice tinged with sorrow. But now, we face an enemy that threatens to destroy everything we have built. Zara swam alongside the Medusa, her movements graceful and precise in the weightless environment. Tell me about this enemy, she said, her brow furrowed in concentration. The Medusa pulsed with a deep, somber light as it began to speak. They call themselves the Abyssals, it said, its voice heavy with dread. They are a race of undersea dwellers, technologically advanced and ruthless in their pursuit of power. They seek to exploit the resources of our world, to strip our oceans bare and leave nothing but desolation in their wake. Zara felt a chill run down her spine as she listened to the Medusa's words. She had encountered many hostile species in her travels, but there was something about the abyssals that filled her with a sense of unease. As they swam deeper into the kingdom, Zara began to notice signs of the abyssal's presence. Great jagged scars marred the seafloor, as if some massive machine had torn through the delicate ecosystem. Strange, pulsating devices hung in the water, emitting an eerie, sickly light that seemed to sap the very life from the surrounding area. They have already begun their assault, the Medusa said, its voice trembling with anger and fear. They raid our settlements, capture our people, and drain the very essence of our world. We have tried to fight back, but our abilities are no match for their technology. Zara's mind raced as she considered the Medusa's words. She knew that she had to help, but the task before her seemed daunting. She was a stranger in this world, unfamiliar with its ways and its dangers. I will do whatever I can to help, Zara said her voice filled with determination. But I will need your trust and cooperation. Together, we can find a way to stop the abyssals and protect your kingdom. The Medusa pulsed with a soft, grateful light as it replied, You have our trust, Captain Zara Zander. We will stand with you, no matter the cost. As they swam onwards, Zara's mind was already racing with ideas and strategies. She knew that she would need to learn more about the Abyssals and their technology if she was going to have any hope of defeating them. Suddenly, a great rumbling sound echoed through the water, shaking the very foundations of the kingdom. Zara and the Medusa exchanged a worried glance, both knowing that the sound could only mean one thing. The Abyssals are attacking, the Medusa said, its voice filled with dread. We must hurry. Together, Zara and the Medusa raced through the water, their hearts pounding in their chests as they prepared to face the greatest challenge of their lives. The fate of an entire world hung in the balance, and Zara knew that she would stop at nothing to ensure its survival. As they approached the source of the disturbance, Zara's eyes widened in shock. A massive mechanical monstrosity loomed before them, its metal tentacles thrashing through the water as it tore into the delicate coral structures. Swarms of smaller, insectoid machines buzzed around it, their metallic jaws snapping and clicking as they harvested the precious resources of the ocean. By the stars, Zara breathed, her voice barely audible over the cacophony of the abyssal's assault. What have I gotten myself into? But even as fear threatened to overwhelm her, Zara felt a surge of determination rising within her. She had faced impossible odds before, and she would do so again. With the Medusa by her side and the strength of her own convictions to guide her, she knew that she could overcome any obstacle. We fight together, Zara said, 
her voice ringing out clear and strong in the chaos of the battle. For the kingdom and for the future of this world. And with that, Captain Zara Zander charged forward, ready to face the undersea menace head on and prove that even in the darkest depths, hope could still shine through. Chapter 4 The Turning Tide In the days that followed, Zara worked tirelessly alongside the Medusa to develop a plan to counter the Abyssal's relentless onslaught. She spent long hours studying the enemy's technology, searching for weaknesses that could be exploited. The Medusi, in turn, shared their knowledge of the ocean's secrets, revealing hidden passages and ancient artifacts that could be used to their advantage. As Zara immersed herself in the ways of the Medusi, she found herself growing increasingly attached to the alien race. Their gentle, telepathic communication and deep connection to the world around them struck a chord within her, resonating with a part of her soul that she had long kept hidden. You have taught me so much, Zara confessed to the Medusa leader one evening, as they watched the bioluminescent creatures dance through the water. I feel like I'm seeing the universe through new eyes, understanding the delicate balance that exists between all living things. The Medusa pulsed with a warm, inviting light as it replied, You have taught us much as well, Captain Zara Zander. Your strength, your determination, and your willingness to fight for what is right have inspired us all. Together, we will find a way to save our kingdom and preserve the beauty of our world. As the days turned into weeks, Zara and the Medusi worked to fortify their defenses and develop new weapons to use against the Abyssals. They trained together, honing their skills and learning to work as a cohesive unit. Slowly but surely, they began to turn the tide of the war, pushing the Abyssals back and reclaiming the territories that had been lost. But even as they celebrated their victories, Zara knew that the true test was yet to come. The Abyssals were a relentless foe, and they would not give up their conquest easily. One fateful day, as Zara and the Medusa were patrolling the edges of the kingdom, they received a distress call from a nearby settlement. The Abyssals had launched a massive attack, their forces overwhelming the Medusa's defenses and threatening to overrun the entire area. Without hesitation, Zara and her allies raced to the scene of the battle, their hearts pounding with a mixture of fear and determination. As they approached the settlement, they were greeted by a scene of utter chaos. The Abyssal's machines swarmed through the water, their metallic tentacles thrashing and their weapons blazing with deadly energy. Zara and the Medusi fought bravely, using every trick and tactic they had learned to hold the enemy at bay. They darted through the water, dodging incoming fire and striking back with precision and power. But even as they fought, Zara could see that they were outnumbered and outgunned. The Abyssals were simply too strong, too relentless. As the battle raged on, Zara found herself face to face with a massive Abyssal machine, its metal jaws snapping and its eyes glowing with a sickly, malevolent light. She raised her weapon, ready to fire, but the machine was too fast. It lunged forward, its tentacles wrapping around her and squeezing the air from her lungs. In that moment, as the world began to fade around her, Zara had a sudden realization. The Abyssals were not invincible, and they were not all-powerful. They were simply machines, tools created by a species that had lost touch with the beauty and wonder of the universe. With a burst of strength, Zara wrenched herself free from the machine's grasp and turned to face it once more. But this time, she did not raise her weapon. Instead, she reached out with her mind, just as the Medusae had taught her, and touched the consciousness of the abyssal pilot within. You don't have to do this, Zara said, her telepathic voice echoing through the abyssal's mind. There is another way, a path that leads to harmony and understanding. Join us, and together we can build a future where all species can thrive. For a moment, the abyssal hesitated its machine shuddering and twitching as the pilot within struggled with Zara's words. 
And then, to Zara's amazement, the machine powered down, its tentacles going slack and its weapons falling silent. Across the battlefield, other abyssals began to follow suit, their pilots abandoning their machines and swimming towards the Medusae with their hands raised in surrender. Zara watched in awe as the tide of the battle turned, the abyssal's assault crumbling in the face of a new understanding. As the last of the enemy machines fell silent, Zara turned to the Medusa leader, her eyes shining with a newfound respect and admiration. You were right, she said, her voice filled with emotion. The true path to victory lies not in violence, but in compassion and understanding. I see that now more clearly than ever before. The Medusa pulsed with a warm, inviting light, its telepathic voice filled with pride and gratitude. You have learned well, Captain Zara Zander. Together we have shown that even the darkest of hearts can be illuminated by the light of wisdom and love. The future of our kingdom is bright, thanks to you. As Zara looked out over the battlefield, she felt a sense of peace and purpose wash over her. She had come to this alien world a stranger, lost and alone. But now, she had found a new home, a new family, and a new understanding of the universe and her place within it. With a smile on her face and a song in her heart, Captain Zara Zander swam forward, ready to face whatever challenges the future might bring. For she knew that with the Medusae by her side and the power of compassion and understanding to guide her, there was nothing she could not overcome. Chapter 5. A New Purpose In the aftermath of the battle, Zara and the Medusae worked tirelessly to rebuild the damaged settlements and heal the wounds of the war. The abyssals who had surrendered were welcomed into the fold, their unique skills and knowledge proving invaluable in the reconstruction efforts. As the weeks passed, Zara found herself growing more and more attached to her new home and the creatures who inhabited it. She marveled at the resilience and adaptability of the Medusae, who had faced so much adversity and yet remained committed to the principles of peace and harmony. One day, as Zara was helping to repair a damaged coral structure, the Medusa leader approached her, its telepathic voice filled with a mixture of gratitude and concern. Captain Zara Zander, it said, its luminescent body pulsing with a soft, inviting light. We cannot begin to express our appreciation for all that you have done for our kingdom. You have shown us the power of compassion and understanding, and you have given us hope for a brighter future. Zara smiled, her heart swelling with pride and affection. It is I who should be thanking you, she replied, her voice filled with emotion. You have taught me so much about the true nature of the universe, and you have shown me a path to inner peace and fulfillment. The Medusa pulsed with a warm, inviting light, its telepathic voice filled with understanding. And yet, we sense that you are troubled, it said, its words echoing through Zara's mind. You have found a new purpose here, but you cannot shake the feeling that you have unfinished business beyond the stars. Zara nodded, her eyes filled with a distant, contemplative look. You're right, she said, her voice barely above a whisper. I have a duty to my crew, to the Artemis, and to the Galactic Alliance. I cannot abandon them, no matter how much I might wish to stay here with you. The Medusa pulsed with a deep, somber light, its telepathic voice filled with understanding and compassion. We know, it said, its words echoing through Zara's mind. And we would never ask you to abandon your responsibilities. But know this, Captain Zara Zander, you will always have a home here, among the Medusae, and we will always be here, ready to welcome you back with open arms. Zara felt tears welling up in her eyes as she looked out over the vast, shimmering expanse of the alien ocean. She had found something here, something precious and rare, and the thought of leaving it behind filled her with a deep, aching sense of loss. But even as she struggled with her emotions, Zara knew that the Medusa was right. She had a duty to fulfill, a mission to complete, and she could not turn her back on the universe 
that had given her so much. With a heavy heart, Zara began to make preparations for her departure. She worked with the Medusa to establish a permanent line of communication, ensuring that they would always be able to reach her no matter where her travels might take her. She trained a new generation of warriors and diplomats, passing on the lessons she had learned and the wisdom she had gained. And then, on a warm, sunny day, as the bioluminescent creatures danced through the water and the coral structures shimmered with a soft, inviting light. Captain Zara Zander bid farewell to her new friends and allies. I will never forget you, she said, her voice filled with emotion as she looked out over the assembled Medusi. And I will always carry a piece of this world with me, no matter where I go. The Medusae pulsed with a warm, inviting light, their telepathic voices filling Zara's mind with love and encouragement. And we will never forget you, Captain Zara Zander, they said, their words echoing through the depths of the ocean. You have changed us forever, and we will always be grateful for the gift of your friendship and your wisdom. With tears in her eyes and a song in her heart, Captain Zara Zander turned and swam towards the surface, ready to face the challenges and adventures that awaited her beyond the stars. She had found a new purpose a new understanding of the universe and her place within it, and she knew that no matter what the future might bring, she would always have the strength and the courage to face it head on. As she broke through the surface of the water and felt the warm, inviting rays of the alien sun on her face, Zara knew that she was ready for whatever lay ahead. She had been tested, she had been challenged, and she had emerged stronger and wiser than ever before. With a smile on her face and a fire in her heart, Captain Zara Sander set out into the unknown, ready to explore the wonders of the universe and to make her mark on the cosmos. For she knew that no matter where her travels might take her, she would always have a home among the stars and a family waiting for her in the depths of an alien sea. Chapter 6. A Legacy Among the Stars Years passed and Captain Zara Zander's adventures took her to the far reaches of the galaxy. She explored uncharted worlds, forged alliances with alien races, and faced challenges that tested the very limits of her strength and resolve. Through it all, she carried with her the lessons she had learned among the Medusa, the wisdom and compassion that had transformed her life and given her a new sense of purpose. As her legend grew, Zara found herself becoming a symbol of hope and inspiration to people across the galaxy. She was hailed as a hero, a champion of the downtrodden and the oppressed, a beacon of light in a universe that often seemed filled with darkness and despair. But even as she reveled in her newfound fame and influence, Zara never forgot the world that had changed her life forever. She made frequent visits to the Medusa's kingdom, using her resources and connections to help them rebuild and prosper in the wake of the Abyssal War. On one such visit, as Zara swam through the shimmering depths of the alien ocean, she was approached by a group of young Medusae, their luminescent bodies pulsing with excitement and awe. Captain Zara Zander, they said, their telepathic voices filled with reverence and admiration. We have heard the stories of your adventures, of the worlds you have saved and the lives you have touched. You are a legend among our people, a shining example of what it means to be a true hero. Zara felt tears welling up in her eyes as she looked out over the assembled Medusae, their faces filled with hope and wonder. She had come so far, had accomplished so much, and yet she knew that her greatest legacy would always be the impact she had made on this one, small world. I am no legend, she said, her voice filled with emotion as she addressed the gathered crowd. I am simply a person who has learned to see the universe through new eyes, to understand the power of compassion and understanding. And I have learned these lessons from you, from the Medusae, who have shown me the true meaning of wisdom and love. As Zara spoke, she felt a sense of peace and fulfillment wash over her, a deep, abiding sense of purpose that transcended the boundaries of space and time. 
She had found her place in the universe, had discovered the true nature of her destiny, and she knew that no matter what the future might bring, she would always have the strength and the courage to face it head on. With a smile on her face and a fire in her heart, Captain Zara Zander looked out over the vast, shimmering expanse of the alien ocean, and she knew that she was home. She had come full circle, had returned to the place where her journey had begun, and she knew that no matter where her travels might take her, she would always carry a piece of this world with her, a living testament to the power of hope and the enduring nature of the spirit. And as she swam off into the depths, ready to face whatever challenges the universe might throw her way, Zara knew that her legacy would endure, a shining beacon of hope and inspiration to generations yet unborn. For she had learned the greatest lesson of all, the lesson that had transformed her life and given her a new sense of purpose, that even in the darkest of times, there is always light to be found, always hope to be nurtured, and always love to be shared. With a heart full of joy and a spirit full of wonder, Captain Zara Zander set out into the unknown once more, ready to explore the wonders of the universe and to make her mark on the cosmos. And she knew that no matter where her travels might take her, she would always have a home among the stars and a family waiting for her in the depths of an alien sea.